What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got NFL fights and heated moments for the 2024 season, week two. Let's check this out. Khan's Duck. Hill. Nico. What the fuck happened? Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't blame Nico, bro. I mean, and like, it's crazy that they always get the second guy. But like, bro, I don't blame Nico for that. Now, this situation was just uncalled for, bro. Like, Roshan Johnson didn't even do anything in this situation for him to catch a stray like this. If, bro, I'm, I'm telling you, if I'm Roshan Johnson, I would have put Aziz Alshire on his ass, bro. Dead ass, nigga. I'm picking this nigga. <laughs> you feel me? I don't care about getting fined or anything, bro. This nigga just punched me for no reason. The fuck, nigga? Roshan a better person than me, cause I, I would have laid his ass out, bro. Sort of like what I'm seeing. That was a legal hit. You know what I'm saying? But what made this nigga go off like that? Roshan was just helping him up. <laughs> Straight into the face of Rashawn Johnson, who was not in the game, was just standing on the sideline. Like, bro, you said, "Why the fuck you hit me for?" Like, bro. Pushed away from the Bears as he was continuing the conversation on the field. Yeah, this nigga's a crash out school threat. They still fighting down, bro. Relax, nigga. Yes, they should have. That shit was uncalled for. Boom. I still don't understand why the fuck they be throwing punches at helmets, but that shit, you're just hurting your hand at that point. Oh my gosh. Should have snapped one of his chains. Put his ass in a chokehold. Uh, give in. Damn. I mean, look at Juju. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga Logan Wilson flopped like crazy game. Juju not push him that hard. But TikTok boy needs to calm his ass down. I didn't know Smith Schuster could do that to the linebacker. He didn't. Logan flopped like crazy, man. Look at this shit. He flopped. Look at this nigga, bro. I, bro, I despise this nigga Logan Wilson. I really do. And then this man, Jamar Chase, is crying and shit in this game. Look at this. Just, hey, bro, don't be crying because you're getting locked the fuck up, bro. If Trent McDuffie doing this to you, bro, what do you think Brandon Stevens going to do to you like he did last year? Had your ass on clamps, nigga. So stop crying. Like, bro. This nigga Jamar Chase had four catches for 35 yards. And he gonna complain. Like, bro, get open. Stop getting clamped up. Then that won't happen, nigga. The fuck? And bro, and bro wants to get paid more money than Justin Jefferson. Now if you getting clamped up like this. Justin Jefferson did his shit in the last game. Jamar Chase ain't even gone over 100 yards yet this season. Takes it all the way back to the 45 jeans territory. Yeah, you know, yeah. Jim had this nigga Jamar Chase crying on the sideline. <laughs> like, bro, shut your goofy ass up, nigga. As you see right there, but he did address it. You can see him say that. Look at this, bro, pressing the ref because you're getting clamped. Like, bro, and that was a great tackle by Trent McDuffie. So I don't know what the hell Jamar Chase is mad about. It's a good job by Alex. Wow, that's a killer because now third and 22. Yep. And you can't upstage a ref. I mean, he kind of did it once. You go back a second time. Bro, even Hunter Henry had over 100 yards last week, bro. I mean, yeah, not last week, this week. from 56 yards away. He missed from 53 in week one. He was one of five from 50 plus last year. And this one. That announcer's jinx is crazy, man. So Tucker struggles from 50 yards and beyond continue. Uh, bro, if Tucker would have made that shit, bro, like that missed kick really defined the end of that game too because the, the Raiders ended up, you know what I'm saying, kicking a field goal to pretty much win it. You know what I'm saying? If we would have been able to get in field goal range, we would have been able to win that game. So if Tucker would have made this seasons, shit. 
but John Harbaugh needs to be fired though. Like I'm getting tired of this shit. Like bro, two two challenges that he lost, which he had no business throwing the challenge flag out. Oh, and this was bullshit. They told him some this a face mask. He clearly grabbed them, grabbed his fucking jersey, bro. Like up here, bro. That's not a face mask. That BS as fucking um face mask call. They gotta get another look at this. Well, there is a second. Defense played great though. I ain't gonna hold you. Other than you know what I'm saying, Adams and Bauer starting to just really cook up in that fourth quarter. It's not a face mask. That's not a face mask, bro. I think they're gonna get a Jabu. Like yo, late hit. Lame ass refs. The refs been against us since the start of the season. Grabbed him around his chest, but a Jabu. Personal foul, face mask, defense, number 92. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. I don't know about that one. Not so sure about that one. That is not a face mask. Looking down for the snap, third and goal. Oh, yeah, and this was BS2. This won't pass interference, bro. This nigga Stevens had this man Adams on clamps, nigga. He had him on clamps. This won't no flag. Nigga, look at this. Perfect. This what bro, he didn't even like bro, he didn't even tug him. He just had his hands on him. It's a double like bro, and he's looking at the ball. Like, bro, Adams couldn't get away from him. That shit strap. And then and then I think Las Vegas ended up scoring a touchdown off of this too. I know that Devontae Adams is so why are you throwing your hands up, Harwell? You the reason why why it was 16 to 23, nigga. Wide receiver. But as soon as you get your hands on someone, especially because he gets it up around his neck. Bullshit. Going to get called every Bullshit. Bullshit. ETN slides up the middle and is brought down What's gonna happen here? So ETN on the ground. Whoa. Martin Emerson in there. Some late pushing and shoving after yeah, the Brian play. Thomas Jr. Anton Harrison. What the fuck? Chris, up Choking people? Trying to avoid the dreaded 0-2 start. And we know you talk about it all the time. Both these teams have playoff aspirations this year. And everybody talks mm. about it on sports television all week. About what the fuck happened? Okay, so it's Brian Thomas Jr. and Martin Emerson going at it. Well, we're trying to say how much they can get into the playoffs. And we're looking at that right there. Martin Emerson. And bro, this man, Brian Thomas Jr. 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 is a David, bro. He is on go every game. Him and Ramsey was ch was um chirping it up last game in the Miami game, bro. That shit was hilarious. Devin Lloyd with the pressure. What I like right there. Roughing the passer. Adrian Hill was explaining to them what they did wrong. So oh the hell no, nah, bro. Y'all are bro. Y'all are really protecting a grapist right now, bro. Really? Watson in the head or neck area. He didn't even make contact with his helmet. But they're saying the fact that the crown of his helmet was down and going. Bro, the NFL is so soft. It's crazy, bro. Again? Oh nah, bro. Nah, he, what the fuck are these refs got against Jacksonville? Let's see this. I mean, yeah. He kind of did put some late. I had to go hold you. Johnson looks like he's trying to get to the ball. That didn't look like he intentionally was trying to do it. Chris, that, that's a close one right there. I don't know. Empty set from the 31. Okay, Gino. Smith firing downfield and the adjustment made by Lockett. I call call pass interference on that. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Jonathan Jones. Pass interference. Says who, me? They never showed a close up angle of this, though. Look at this thing of Jonathan Jones. Jonathan Jones is still complaining. Okay, let's see. Seahawks pick up 20 yards on the penalty flag. I don't know about that one, man. And that pretty much, like, that solidified this game, too, because Seattle scored on that drive. In motion. Both backs out there. Golf throwing over the Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on there. Zion McCollum just cleared from But J-Mo, J-Mo got bumped off his route. Delivers with his first pick of the season on play number one today. 
Yeah, you got yeah, it. Should, it should have been a flag for sure. Right there. He Watch Jamo. He got grabbed. He's Boom. Happy with that contact right there that takes him off stride. Now that goes awry, and it's Zion McCollum who's right there. So when that was not on Jerry Goff. You feel me? Underneath. Just take that one. But then all of a sudden you go. Back but Jamo would have been open though. Hold up. He threw that ball. That was Zion McCollum. Jamo would have been open. Yesterday delivers with his first pick of clear. Cause watch this, bro. Jamo would have been wide open, right in this window right here. This is where Jamo would have been, right here, and he would have been. See, this might have been a touchdown with his speed, bro. If he just gets out of here and he got a lead blocker in front. Yeah, that's just that. That was BS, bro. They should have called that. The refs, I don't know what they've been on, bro. They've been on some heavy, you know, what I'm saying substances these first couple weeks. He comes in. He's not happy with that contact right there that takes him off stride now that goes awry and it's zion mccollum who's right there when i first saw it i thought he had jameer gibbs underneath just take that one but then all of a sudden you go back and you look you know exactly why he threw that ball that was great anticipation it was going right into the right window but there was contact at the top of the route that was not called Facts. and you can hear the crowd reacting to seeing the replay look at dan campbell all he can do is laugh bro because he knows his bullshit I can see why. Yeah. I can see why. That I don't know how you missed that call. Damn, they were loud as fuck. Holy. Mayfield to the sideline. Incomplete. He wanted to get it to Jay. We ain't got no flag. Former Buccaneer Carl to <laughs> look at <laughs> look at Brian Branch. He had this up for so long. It's and then waited for the for the flag. There was none and he just did this. Defense. Yo. That interception by Jerry. Said straps. Enforcing the three and out. That, yeah, this nigga hooked his arm, bro. Like he walked him down the aisle at a wedding, nigga. Look at this shit. Three and out. Come on, and Carlton Davis. Again, at the end of the game, bro, Sunday, giving him away at a wedding game. And, and every once in a while, once that nigga look like Carl. Arthur Smith. Get the playoff. Let us Damn. Roughing the, they call roughing the pass on that. Yeah, we just. We just got finished on um, watching that in the brutal hits video. So we we just gonna, we just gonna skip over that. Steps up. Gonna skip over that. Garrett yeah. Wilson has not been involved at all. Rogers out of the pocket here. A Rod, damn. A Rod, you know you can't outrun Jeffrey Simmons. And a little shove afterwards, maybe some playful banter. Maybe not. And Aaron suspected a little veteran. You know, discount on that one, isn't it? No, nah, ain't no veteran discount, nigga. Big Jeff. What's with the shove? Because he wanna <laughs> wanna send your old ass a message, nigga. Retire. Personal foul. Rough in the pass, number ninety-eight defense. Fifteen yard penalty. Oh, Jeffrey Simmons again. And that's Jeffrey Simmons. He and Rogers got into it a little bit on the sideline after a run from Rogers earlier. And now some other guys are getting into it because this Jets offensive line is a proud group of people. They've got their quarterback in control again this year and playing. Oh, uh, I mean, that could have been face mask, too. Number 58. That penalty will be enforced after this. It's the goal. Automatic. First down. Julian Okwara making his Arizona debut. Former Lion was with Philadelphia in the preseason. And he's yeah, where's his brother, Romeo Okwara? To Los Angeles with that I mean, that's uncalled for, yeah. Whittington, who was already down. He was already going down. He can't spear him like that, especially with the crown of your helmet. Personal foul. Defense number 70. 15 yard penalty will be. A Defense forward. number 70. Kickoff. Timeout. Bro. Derek just lays it out there. Why is it. This is a penalty after the play. It's penning the oh, rookie. Damn. And he got flagged. A little riffraff in there. A little, little, you know, a little testiness. It's an emotional game. Hey, man. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Y'all let me know what other NFL videos y'all want me to react to. Without further ado, I'm out. Gang. Yeah.